TGI Friday. We're nearly there. It's on the home straight. We're nearly at the weekend. One more day to go. This is your market update for Friday the 2nd of Feb. Full disclosure just before I start, I am a little bit hungover this morning. It was a thirsty Thursday as the hashtag goes with the cool kids. Um, but look, the headlines, Carney's comment from earlier in the week about wage growth um, has fueled um, hopes for an earlier rate rise in the UK and sterling is benefiting accordingly. Uh, from the Eurozone, we saw some strong data, strong manufacturing data, and that's helped drive the single currency higher. And the dollar is largely on the back foot ahead of today's main event, which is the non-farm payrolls from the US. So in the UK, and indeed you know, widespread, Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, uh, is held in very high regard by the market. Uh, you'll remember earlier in the week then, when he was uh, testifying to, to, uh, to uh, UK MPs, um, he made comments around accelerated wage growth and the, uh, the effect that's likely to have on inflation. And the reaction that's had with sterling is largely outweighed the otherwise bad news of a tough start to stage two of the Brexit negotiations and the government report uh, being leaked, which um, I think suggested about an 8% fall in economic activity, regardless of the Brexit deal that is agreed. Um, and look, back in November when, when the, uh, the rates were raised, it was, it was largely seen as very unlikely that ra um, you know, rates would, would rise again within two years. It was called a dovish rise. Um, but if you then cut to Carney's comments this, uh, this week, um, suggesting and indeed discussion is now on the table for a rate rise as, as early as May this year. Um, you know, all, all due to a comment from the central banker. Um, so, you know, Sterling naturally rose on the back of that uh, and it's risen towards uh, 143. We'll put the exact rates in the comments below for accuracy. Um, and looking back, you know, year to date so far in January, cable rose, uh, I think, six and a half percent. Um, and the rally is obviously continuing in, in uh, the couple of days of Feb that we've had so far. Um, however, manufacturing data uh, might have poured a little cold water on that. Um, you know, the, the data was disappointing. It fell to a seven month low. Um, and so further gains could well be limited as effectively economic reality uh, may cool the current rally. Conversely, manufacturing activity in the uh, in the Eurozone was good. It came out as expected, showing growth within the sector, um, largely, of course, fueled by the continuation of, of, of cheap money. So that's, uh, that's an interesting balance that Draghi will have to contend with going forwards um, as the hot money is, is looking for yield and, uh, and may well be investing in the manufacturing sector. The euro naturally benefited from the good data and is testing 125.20 uh, against the dollar. Uh, we saw that yesterday before again, just a slight retracement on, on some profit taking before the close. However, today is the main event is all about the non-farm payrolls. And this non-farm Fridays is a, is, is, is a big event internally here at currencytransfer.com as well, because it means the sweepstake. Now, the rules, very briefly, we play closest to the pin with a 3,000 um, data point reference either side. So what that means is we've, we've, we're forecast uh, today uh, 180,000 new jobs being created outside of the agricultural sector. So if you dive in at forecast at 180, it means that you take the pot anywhere from 177 all the way through to 183. Okay, good, got it, lovely. So upstairs we've got uh, entries ranging anything from the low end of 173. He's conservative and he gets the pot anything under 173 as well. So that's open-ended. And it goes all the way through to the top end, very bullish call at 217. Remember, against a forecast of 180. So looking back, ADP a couple of days ago, it was a leading indicator for this. It's another employment report from the US. Again, the forecast there was 186 and it actually came in at 234. So what does that mean? Chances are maybe we're going to beat forecasting in today's non-farm payrolls. But really, me, what do I know? Very little when it comes to data analysis and forecasting of results. However, for what it's worth, I'm in for 210. Come on!